What's going on, everyone? It's the Niskel. Welcome back to Persona 3 Portable. This episode is going to be primarily focused on the compendium. There will be no story progression, no social link progression. But first, I want to show you something a little funny. I have Mari equipped. And what happens when a lady like Namine has Mara equipped? Well... What? What? perfectly normal. Look, Igor let me fuse it, I I needed it for Akihiko. <laughs> that sounds even worse. Yeah, thanks to those of you who showed me that, I had no idea that happened. Let's fuse some... Uh, hold on. Sorry, I just thought of something completely different. I need to register a few personas just to make sure the ones I have are up to snuff. I actually did get the Mara Logidine card from Mara, that's the main reason I have him, is just so I could fuse him up. And everything else should be fine to fuse. Let's see, that's a regular Scotty. Cybelle. I got that up to level 90, I think I fused that when it was back at 65. Cybelle has really helped me along in this journey. Alright, but now we need to fuse some Personas. Let's see what I can do just with the personas that I have currently in my deck. Let's go for a triangle spread. Let's try, uh, let's try Uriel, Arahabaki. Um, let's see. There's actually a few I could do, but I want to do this one. Michael of the Judgment Arcana. I actually don't have this one yet. Might as well start filling out the Judgment Arcana. Those ones are going to be extremely expensive, but extremely powerful. Maziodine and Medea Rahan. And it gets Null Charm, and Mabufudine is its first move. Let's go ahead and make him, because I doubt I will ever be using this persona. It's just for the compendium. It's one way to clear space in my deck. Ah, talk to the hand. And then the universe explodes. There is Mabufudine. Let's see what else you get, Michael. Repel Dark. Oh, there goes your weakness. Panic boost. Don't need it, but fine, I'll take it. And Heaven's Blade is your final move. Something's happening to Rakukaja. No. And you're getting Heaven's Blade. Oh, sweet. Now I get to see what that does, because I'm not exactly sure. Heavy slash damage. Okay, so not that big of a deal, but much appreciated. And we get the Mabufudine card. Thanks a lot, Michael. Now let's see what else we got. Here's one that I should have made a long time ago, but only got around to doing it now. Your Lunger of the Temperance Arcana. I'm going to be fusing away Scotty, Loki, and Michael in order to make this guy. There are tons of combinations in order to get uh, your Lunger. Well, it starts with Mabufudine, gets Garudine, and I'll be sure to give it Bufudine, Null Charm. It's a cool Ice Persona if you ever needed one around the level... Uh, 60 or higher. Because after this fusion, he's going to get five more. He'll be closer to level 70. And I also love the twin snake approach. And I also like that little dance it does. It's like, hello there! I am the snake of dreams. The rainbow snake that you will probably never see because I don't exist. I'm sorry, I shouldn't say that about a gift that Bebe gave me before he left for France. Thanks for everything, Bebe. Ooh, Medea Rahan. Hmm. Samara Karm, good lord. You are extremely useful. You're an ice persona and a healer. Nice. There's a cool looking persona. We'll eventually have to fuse all the Aeon personas, and this one is one of the higher leveled ones. Ananta of the Aeon Arcana. Medea Rahan and Dekunda. A very interesting persona. It's very defensive. Think of this as a wall persona that learns a lot of amazing spells. It's not exactly for attacking. It's for helping out your party. I'm fusing away Satan and Melchizedek, which is why it's getting some, I'll, I'll be honest, extremely overpowered moves that it doesn't really need. But that Makarakarn will actually come in handy. This should be something I can use for I guess a bit later. It's kind of a shame I have to fuse away Satan, but you know what? It's okay. We'll probably see him by the end of this. Because we're going to have to fuse even more powerful personas. Yes, 
the levels do get higher, and yes, they do get more powerful. You have no idea what we're going to be fusing by the end of this. I can't wait to show it. But for now, enjoy this multi-headed snake. Now for an interesting combination. I'm mainly going to take this time to fill out any other missing personas that are in the different arcana. And the first one is the Fool Arcana. And we've got a fun one here to fuse. Susanoo! You'll notice that there are two of them. I actually did a little bit of research and found out that the reason there are two is because of the male and female versions of Orpheus. So even if you do the male route, you are still going to have a combination possibility for the female version if you're playing the male route, and vice versa. So here, it's using the female version of Orpheus to fuse Susanoo. Is there any change in the persona itself? Absolutely not. I mean, unless you gave uh, Orpheus a lot of amazing moves, which I actually did for mine. So, Susanoo, Orpheus, Legion, Osei, Black Frost, Ikarabia, and Loki. This guy's pretty cool. Pretty nice strength stat, level 76 starting out. Brave Blade, Tetrakarn, and Fast Retreat. And the first movie gets his Vorpal Blade. Very strong, very powerful persona, and only weakness is light. I'm good with this. I wasn't planning on using it at all, but it's still cool to have this persona. There's another hexagon spread. Boom! Ooh! I like the color scheme you got going there. I love the crown, love the... Actually, everything. That's a pretty cool-looking sword, too. Dude! Man, if I didn't have... Like, Melchizedek's been my boy when it comes to physical attacks, but... Man, if I didn't have him, I'd use you. You're a cool-looking persona, and your first move is Vorpal Blade. I will gladly learn that. Get rid of Provoke. Don't need that. Regenerate 3! Another good move to have, especially since you have to hurt yourself in order to use your best moves. But what's your final move? I'm always curious about that, because that's when the big moves come out. Repel Strike! That would be two... Uh, two uh, physical attacks that cancel themselves out because of you. That's pretty nice. We are missing one in the Strength Arcana, and it is Siegfried. He is the highest level, at least it should be the highest level, of the Strength Arcana. And there's a very good reason why. At that level, with that Strength stat, and strong against, uh, strong against Strike, nullifies uh, Slash completely. Nullifies Light, only weakness is Darkness. This guy's amazing. Kali, Narasima, and Valkyrie, all of the Strength Arcana, fused to make the biggest boy. Let's go ahead and do it. Unfortunately, Siegfried, I'm not going to use you. Over in FES, you are used a lot. I have found so many uses for you, Siegfried, but unfortunately here, you're just being added to the compendium. <laughs> okay. That's kind of nice. It's already strong against it. Why not evade it, too? Vorpal Blade's a very good move, and it's one level away from learning Arms Master, which just makes him an absolute powerhouse. If you need a strong physical attacker, shoot for Siegfried. Time to finish up the Star Arcana. This is actually one of the birds we missed in the upper 60s. This is Garuda. And it's actually really easy to make, cash-wise. You use three different Star Personas, so Ganesha... Kaiwan and Neko Shogun. Put those three together and you get a Starbird. It is extremely fast, weak against darkness and electric, but with the right moves, you can actually work with that. We're going to give it Cool Breeze, Deathbound, Mighty Swing, those are all pretty decent moves. And it seems to be a mixed magic user, even though its magic stat isn't that good by comparison. But still, if you need an extremely quick persona to go before any other shadow while you have it equipped, Go for it. Let's see what other moves he gets. And thanks again, Akihiko. The Star Arcana, I'm realizing, has some of the best personas in the game, especially the ultimate form of the Star Arcana. Good lord, when we can make that. Uh, something's happening to Daya? Yeah, sure. Sexy Dance. That's hilarious. I don't know if I'm going to pawn that off to anything else, but... It's, it's still kind of funny to see that giant bird shaking his booty at you. I don't know what I was going to say instead, but just know it wouldn't have been funny. 
Uh, medium pierce, heavy slash, medium slash. Yeah, we can get rid of that. My counter's your final move. And you're getting it. That is you all done. If you want an arrow rain... Oh, wait, no, you have one more move. If you want an arrow rain card, just be sure to level this thing up. Oh, repel wind. Why would you not have a repellent against your weakness? Uh, this one's weird. I didn't think I was going to be using Garuda, and I doubt I will after seeing its moveset, but... I mean, for that level, you can't go wrong. Saturnus. A very good fire persona. Only weakness is ice. Gonna fuse away Michael and Ananta. This guy should be pretty cool. Why do I say that? Well... He may be used for a bigger gun that I need. Yeah. The Star Arcana has some truly amazing personas. And I can't wait to show you the last one. Oh, that's kind of a cool design, actually. Doesn't really have arms or legs to speak of. They're all just fire. And, uh, I don't know. He makes it work. Plus, he's also got flames for hair in the rest of his face. God, that can't be comfortable. I also noticed he's kind of fast. His agility matches his strength stat. I don't know. If you need a really quick fire persona, this could actually be useful. Oh, look at that. No weakness. You know what? Now that Mara's gone, even though I still hold, hold it uh, in my mind that Mara is the best fire persona that you can ever get... That guy's a pretty good contender. Oh my god. Yeah, I found him. Halel of the Star Arcana. This is actually the last star persona we need. Look at that guy. Look at those stats. Strong against every physical attack. His weakness is ice. He nullifies light. But since we gave him evade ice, he has a better chance against it. I'm actually going to end up using this persona for the end game just because he's so goddamn powerful. I'll be right back. Refusing your Lunger, Needhog, and Saturnus. If I can give him that Repel Ice, he's unstoppable. That didn't take long at all, and it also gave him Ice Amp. Now, unfortunately, he doesn't use Ice moves, so that's kind of null and void. But that high counter and gigantic fist will work in his favor. Plus, the next move he's going to get... Oops. I didn't actually mean to do that. But Morning Star. Morning Star is extremely powerful, and I hope to show you. He's definitely going to learn it, though. Just look at that design. Akihiko, you gave me this? You gave me this absolute destroyer of worlds? Thank you. Seriously, this is one of the best personas that you can make, especially for the end game. Just because any shadow that goes up against you is going to fall. Because of that move right there. Absorb Slash. Oh my god, you just got better. You're not just strong against it, you're full absorbing it. Morning Star is massive almighty damage to all foes. Megadoleon doesn't even do that. He found the move to outclass Megadoleon. Yeah, let's get rid of the Ice Amp. I, and Salvation is your final move. Oh my god, do you get any better? I mean, we can use Persona cards, but I don't want to ruin that moveset, you kidding me? We have an interesting combination here. After the Star Arcana, we're actually going to go to the Moon. The ultimate form of the Moon Arcana, Sandalphon. Garuda, Suzaku, Yadagarasu, Gur, and Horus. To make this mechanical looking dude. I can't argue with those stats, especially at the high level he's at. It's not that fast, but when your first move that you learn through level up is Akasha Art, it can only get better from there. What I kind of like about this fusion is that every single fusion is a bird. You have Garuda, Suzaku, who's a phoenix, more than just a regular bird. Yadagarasu, Gur, who's like an undead bird. And then Horus, the sunbird. Agidine, Mahama, Bufudine. So we're going to give him uh, plenty of magic spells. Samsara, that's a pretty decent move. And you have no weakness, I just realized. You nullify strike and you repel light. You can't go wrong with that. And, need I remind you, the physical spells. So thanks a lot, Shinjiro. This must be your love letter to us. Even in your coma, you're still so sweet. What do you 
are you getting after this, huh? What are you getting after this? Get rid of Raccoon, though, why don't you? I don't need it. Regenerate three. That's actually amazing. We'll get rid of that Mohama, because <laughs> I don't need anything after Samsara. Or anything that comes before Samsara. Yeah. Goodbye, Mahama. And salvation. No wonder you're so important. Thanks again, Shinji. We're skipping around to the big guns. We've made it to the Judgment Arcana. One of the first ones you can do is Trumpeter. Now, I would say Trumpeter is a useful persona, especially in the Arcana that it's in. But not in this game. You're actually able to make an extremely powerful trumpeter in Persona 4 Golden because it's a request for Margaret. But in here, it's all right. It's got plenty of strength. It nullifies light. Weak against fire. You can work with that. There are so many moves that you can add to the trumpeter because it's on Judgment Arcana. But it's mainly a death dealer from its original move set. But trust me, if you can give it tons of magical spells, you're doing it right. And Ice Break... No, who cares about Ice Break? I guess the one downside to Judgment Persona is that they... They have the ability to learn essentially everything. Just like every other Persona. But these ones are built to learn everything. And I think that's the one flaw with the Judgment Arcana. Because you can teach them everything and they are built for everything, it's almost impossible to find a moveset that makes them amazing. They're still good but it's hard to make them amazing. An interesting combination, and this is one I've been waiting for. Over in the Pentagon, we can now fuse Lucifer. Hillel, Satan, Beelzebub, Abaddon, or Abaddon, and Samael to make this big motherfucker starting a level 89. This guy is amazing. Oh, defensive, strong, magical. The only thing it isn't is fast, but it repels dark, only weakness is ice, nullifies electricity, strong against every physical attack, first move is Megadoleon. Good God! Let's make him better. If you're wondering if you can give it Morningstar, yes, you can. Megadoleon is now null and void. Now, what I really wish I could do, and this is something that happened in later Persona games, but I want to pick and choose what moves to put on it, instead of having to go through chance. If that was the case, if I had my way, I could give it Morningstar and Repel Ice. It would not have a weakness. But this is as good as I'm going to get. Let's go ahead and fuse this big, bad motherfucker. I know I keep referring to him as that, but dude, just look at the guy. It's one of the most powerful Personas in the game. Gotta give him a title like that, and look at that! He calls me out, who dares call to me? I see you place little value on your life. I am Lucifer, I will lend you my power for the moment. And he's so powerful, he barely gets an animation when he attacks. He raises his arms slightly. <laughs> I guess when you're that menacing, that's all you have to do. So, yeah, we just summon Lucifer. Ain't no big deal. Uh, for some of these moves, I really don't need Mamudo. I'm not going to have this guy be dealing out instant death. He's already going to be dealing out strongest almighty damage. Spellmaster is fabulous. This cuts the cost of all moves that use SP. Oh, oh god, Mamudoon, get out of here. And Victory Cry. Victory Cry is a move that restores all your HP and all your SP after a battle. If you have him equipped and you have an extremely difficult battle, as soon as that battle ends, you are back to 100%. Moving on to the Aeon Arcana. This is the last one that we can make for now. Adavaka. He is currently the highest level Aeon Persona that we can make. Although I think doesn't I think Ananta actually beats him. No, no, Adavaka is the highest. I was thinking correctly. This guy's pretty good. Good strength stat, learns Akasha Arts, probably more better moves after that. More better, I need to work on my vocabulary. Two weaknesses, though. Can't say I would want to use this guy, but if I can give him some decent moves, we can fuse him away for later. Trumpeter, and I fused a few personas together to get Chiyo. Don't even worry about what personas I used. I totally did not use my most powerful personas just to make this one for for Igus's Arcana. Don't worry about it. 
There's Akasha Arts. I don't think I have enough S or uh, EXP to get the next one. Magadola, sure. Absorb Slash. Cool. I guess. Medea Rohan. Really? For a persona like you? Okay. I'm not going to complain. Have a healing spell in my back pocket, I'll take it. Apart from social links, I have not completed 100% yet, so Mitsuru's, Aegis's, we won't be able to fuse their ultimate forms yet. Other than that, we have everything else. All the hexagons have been completed. We can't fuse the other version of Suzanoo, but it's there just in case you want to look at it. Asura, Beelzebub, Thanatos, we've already fused all those guys. Over in the Pentagon, Daisojo, Attis, Sandalphon, Lucifer, Mara. Some fantastic personas over in the Crossbred. You got all these guys. And everything else in the Compendium is accounted for. Except for one. A secret combination that uses very interesting persona combo. Your first persona Orpheus. And the ultimate form of the Death Arcana Thanatos. The two personas that were living inside you from the very beginning. If you put those two together, you get Messiah. The ultimate form of the Judgment Arcana starts with Megadoleon, Regenerate 3, God's Hand. Strong against every elemental attack, repels light, his only weakness is darkness. The move Salvation is its first move that he gets. And you can give as many Persona card moves as you want to Orpheus to send over to Messiah. And that's what I've been doing. I gave Orpheus Automataru, Divine Grace, Maziodine, Bufudine, in hope that we could give them all to Messiah. Now, one thing I did try off screen is trying to give Orpheus Maralagidine. It worked. But we couldn't give that move to Messiah. So, if you have an opening spot here, I want to give Messiah Maralagidine. It'll be funny, okay? But as far as making this guy better, let's see what we can do. That will do. Mahamon, Mamudo, but the main ones I wanted were Automataru and Bufudine. I don't even know if I'm going to use those moves, but they're there just in case. And if you also notice, at level 99, it will give you the skill card Megadolion. <laughs> you know, just in case you want to give a Nekomata Megadolion, you can. There he is. Oh, and did I mention, Messiah has a heart item. Good God. Oh, I'm getting chills. This is a persona you want to keep in your deck at all times. It can defeat any shadow. And if not, it can get very damn well close. Happening to Bufudine? What on earth could you give me? Repel Ice. Good lord. There's Salvation. Invigorate 3. Wow. I can definitely get rid of Mamuto for that. Absorb Pierce. Oh my. Mahamon is good as gone. Enduring Soul. Wow, something's happening to repel ice? Yeah, sure. Myriad arrows. <laughs> oh, and I never told you to look at the stats, but yeah, it's got a high magic stat. And high everything stats. Messiah's amazing. And I'm so glad to have it now. One more look at the compendium. We're done here. 98%. My calculations are correct. We have... One specific persona that you can't do until you have all the social links completed. We have the ultimate form of Mitsuru's Arcana and Aegis's Arcana. I don't know why I said that weird. Aegis's Arcana. That's three. Three personas that we're missing. And this entire compendium will be finished. Something to look forward to. Next time on Persona 3 Portable, we're moving on with the story, we're moving on with our days... And uh, I actually didn't spend too much money, so I might actually have enough to spend on armor and stuff. That'd be nice. 
Oh, wait, I need to buy back Hillel, and I need to buy back Lucifer. And, well, there, there goes all my money. Nah, I'm just kidding, I'm fine. See you guys next time.